Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Unobuke Kumalo, commonly known as Miss K. And today's video is all about young professionals' bank accounts. Before I get into this video, please do remember that none of my videos constitute financial advice. Should you require financial advice, please do seek someone to speak to your life specifically. Otherwise, take everything I say with a pinch of salt. I am just a friend telling another friend about what I've heard. All right, let's get right into the video so let's talk about what happens after you graduate you're now done with school and exams and you're entering the working place which means you need a bank account that is not a student account right this is where young professionals bank accounts come in where south african banks have tailored these bank accounts that will help newly graduated people as they enter into the industry to become entry-level workers Basically, it is a product that is specifically tailored for the type of person you are as a new graduate. What does this even mean? Guys, I don't know about you, but when I left university, I had no credit to my name. I didn't open store accounts. I didn't have a credit card. I just didn't really think about credit. I was just trying to pass my exams, get the damn paper and get a job. So now when you are trying to buy things like a car or start renting an apartment, companies look at your credit score to determine whether you are a suitable person to give money to. If you haven't checked out my video on credit scores, you really should. I go into much detail about it. But just moving along, as someone with no credit score, it means that banks do not trust you. So if you now approach a random bank and you tell them, hey guys, I want to buy a car or hey guys, I want to buy a house because some people are buying houses, they will charge you the maximum interest rate because you are risky. Now, it's not your fault that you just graduated and it's not your fault that you didn't need a store account, right? It's like now suddenly you're being crucified for having money as a student. Like, okay, so I didn't spend other people's money. Now, why am I at fault? So instead of just getting a generic bank account that anyone and everyone can get, you should consider applying for a young professional's bank account. All right, so let's talk about the benefits of this type of bank account. Number one, you get up to 100% vehicle financing at a good rate and no deposit required. Number two, up to 100% of your home loan at a good rate as well. This is if you're planning to buy a house. Number three, you get an overdraft facility. This is basically like a credit card, just that it's built into your actual card. Um, obviously, it's expensive, but having an overdraft facility is good if you perhaps have to incur some relocation costs up front or there's an emergency and you don't really have an emergency fund yet. Um, so the overdraft can save you there. Uh, number four, you have access to a private banker and a financial planner for free. So whenever I make these videos, I always say, please do not use this as financial advice. You actually have a financial planner, so use them. And lastly, number five, you have access to all of these airport lounges with free food, alcohol, you name it, it's there. And I know rates might not be for everyone. You might not actually understand how interest works, but I would really encourage you to check out this other video I made on credit scores where I show you the difference in, 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 in purchasing something based on who you are. Um, in that video, I actually made reference to show that when I bought my car, which I did, the car costs so much more than when they quoted my dad. And the reason for that is because I had no credit coming out of high school. I mean, coming out of varsity. I had never opened Mr. Price account. I had literally nothing to my name. So they thought, red flag, charging her the highest interest rate. Whereas my dad is in his 50s. He has been using credit. I mean, he had a home loan. He's probably had car loans and all of that. So they know the type of person he is. They know the characteristics he has. They know that he pays on time um, and all of that. So they know his history. So they charge him such a low rate. And when you compare the cost of my little car when I buy it versus when my dad buys it, I'm almost paying double okay it is ridiculous and i really wish that i had thought about it a bit better and possibly even come up with like a, a, a scheme that my dad buys the car and i pay him but maybe not because you know those things are complicated but what i'm just trying to show you is that humans are equal but some humans are more equal than others which means that you and i will not pay the same for a car even if it is the exact same car cool 
ad break if you are thinking of applying for the invest tech young professionals account uh, i have dropped a link below to my direct referral link it'll take you to an, a little application form and it'll go directly to my private banker and they will assist you they'll probably give you a call and and walk you through what it entails whether you qualify and all of that so do check it out if you do think that you would like to be part of that specifically with invest tech alternatively though you can check out my blog because in my blog i have all of the banks and i have all the contact details um you'll see the websites there um yeah cool anyways bye they understand your situation they understand the type of person you are they also understand your career um so they know that oh if you are someone doing the articles or um you're a candidate attorney or whatever it is they know that okay the first three years these people don't earn much but once they qualify oh they become big ballers so what banks do is they try and catch you when you're still your low level earning workers right cool to apply for these bank accounts there are certain requirements that need to be met um you know obviously you'll, it'll be the normal banking uh, requirements as well as that you have to be under 30 um, you have to have a four-year degree or a, a normal degree plus an honors or a postgraduate diploma but you have to have studied for at least four years um, as well as the fact that you need to be in a specific uh, career i'm sorry my video is going to be a lot more biased towards investing just because i do bank with them um but i have spoken to a couple of my friends because not all of us chose investing some people chose net bank if it be so i have spoken to a couple of them just to get an understanding of how that works and to be quite honest these things are the same we have the same benefits we have it's literally the same the only difference is the card um you know some people think they're more exclusive i know i only chose investing because exclusive I've, I've never seen anyone on investec i am the first person in my family to bank with investec so i was like hey bo let me you know but to be quite honest it is the exact same thing um don't be pushed into investec just because you think they have better benefits look at the table i've done and make a decision for yourself um yeah at the end of the day as long as you get your car you get your house you get your overdraft facility whatever you need all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i really do hope that it has helped you a bit um i know i wasn't aware of young professional bank accounts until i was actually signing my contract at work and the banks came in to do their whole show and i was like oh my goodness now i have to make a decision on the spot but because you know me and you follow miss k you now know ahead of time so you can start thinking about who you might want to bank with um especially because not everyone might have the opportunity of having the bank people come speak to them i think my company did a really good thing with that like they brought them in and they spoke to us but i know not everyone has access to this so if they don't come to your work and they don't come to your school call them check it out you know ask them hey please can i apply and you never know also you are going to enjoy the free food from the airport lounges i love flying i'm actually yo i love flying COVID just needs to release us so that we can do international flights and enjoy the international snow lounges and all of that. All right. Anyways, bye-bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do comment down below who you think you might go bank with. Uh, do comment down below if you have actually heard of these types of accounts. Um, and yeah, bye.